It went back and forth all night, and the vote count between Democratic candidates Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders in Kentucky still stands at a narrow, thin margin. We're live with the latest. It's Jim Gray versus Rand Paul for the Senate in November. Hear from both candidates coming up. Firefighters have released new details about a large fire in a Lexington neighborhood. They say it destroyed one home and damaged four others. This is WKYT News at 11. Good evening. It was very close. Democratic presidential candidates Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders spent a lot of time in this state the last two weeks, and voters were nearly split between the two today. With 99% of the vote in from today's primary, Clinton holds a less than 2,000 vote lead over Sanders. The Secretary of State's office is now calling the race for Clinton. It appears the two candidates will split Kentucky's 55 delegates, which still moves Clinton closer to the Democratic nomination. Clinton declared victory on Twitter in Kentucky just a short time ago, and her supporters here say they have a lot to celebrate. Our Sean Moody joins us now live outside a Clinton watch party in Lexington to begin our campaign 20. 16 team coverage. Sean. Hey there, Amber and Sam. The Clinton campaign watch party was at Parlay Social here in downtown Lexington, and most of the Clinton supporters who gathered here have gone home now content with what they believe was a victory over Bernie Sanders. However, the Associated Press has said this race is still too close to call. Clinton supporters were happy to end their evening this way. After several nail-biting hours, some outlets have declared Hillary Clinton the winner of the Kentucky primary. Oh, yeah, it's been a really crazy race. Um, it's been up and down. You know, one second Sanders is up, the other second Clinton is up, and so it's been a really exciting night for us. Oh, wow. It was like being at an NFL playoff game that we had the ball when we were behind, and we were inside the two-minute warning, and we made the drive. But not so fast, says Bernie Sanders. I guess the people of Kentucky may not have agreed with the assessment that the campaign is over. In Frankfurt, Sanders supporters packed into the Kentucky Coffee Tree Cafe for their watch party, hoping to see victory themselves. I talked to a couple people that worked at election precincts, and they saw the same thing, 50 to 51, 49 to 50. So I, I have no idea. I'm hoping Bernie pulls through. Now, as far as that tight margin of victory, we checked with the Secretary of State's office. They said that there is no specific number that would trigger a recount of the votes. Live in Lexington, Sean Moody, WKYT. Sean, thank you. Now, here's a closer breakdown of the 55 Democratic delegates up for grabs in Kentucky tonight. The margin between Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders stands at less than one half of one percent. That means each candidate will likely pick up at least 25 of Kentucky's delegates. The other five delegates will be handed out once the final vote tallies are in. Oregon is the other state holding a primary today. The results from that state are not yet in. On the Republican side, presumptive nominee Donald Trump is expected to easily win in Oregon. He won Kentucky's Republican caucus back in March. In Oregon, 61 Democratic delegates and 28 Republican delegates are at stake tonight. As for the U.S. Senate race, no surprises tonight. The matchup in November will be what many people expected. Incumbent Republican Senator Rand Paul easily wins the GOP primary. And on the Democratic side, Lexington Mayor Jim Gray had no trouble in a field of seven candidates. Tonight, both Senator Paul and Gray talked about the November election. Garrett Weimer continues our campaign 2016 team coverage. Please join me in welcoming the next United States Senator from the Commonwealth of Kentucky, Mayor Jim Gray. It didn't take long for Mayor Jim Gray to join his own party with a primary win. He easily beat six other Democrats, then wasted no time going right after his new Republican opponent, Senator Rand Paul. Paul has turned his back on us, forgotten who he works for, and who elected him. Looking ahead now to November, WKYT political editor Bill Bryant says having Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders at the top of the ticket for the presidential race in November may not be enough to help Mayor Gray take down Senator Paul. And so Jim Gray emerges as the Democratic nominee, knowing full well it is an uphill battle to try to defeat 
a Republican incumbent in Kentucky, given the trends of the last few years. It's been since 1992 that a Democrat won a U.S. Senate seat in Kentucky when Wendell Ford won his last term. Senator Paul had no trouble beating his two primary opponents. He told our D.C. Bureau he plans to run on his record against Gray. I've tried very hard to uh, represent Kentucky by saying, you know what, we need a smaller government. We need to leave more money in Kentucky. Both candidates emphasized the need to put Kentucky first. In Lexington, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. Some Kentucky congressional seats were also on the ballot today in the 6th Congressional District, which includes Lexington and much of central Kentucky. Incumbent Republican Andy Barr easily won his primary today. In November, he'll face Democrat Nancy Jo Kemper, a Woodford County minister and lobbyist on social justice issues. In the 1st Congressional District, which covers parts of western and central Kentucky, James Comer won the Republican primary. That field included Mike Pape, who ran some controversial ads on TV about immigration. Comer will face Democrat Sam Gaskins in November. And in the 5th Congressional District, Republican Congressman Hal Rogers clinching a 19th term in office. He easily won the GOP primary. He does not have a Democratic challenger in November. For a complete list of election results from around the state, go to our website, WKYT.com. You can also find them on the WKYT News app. More rain is moving across the bluegrass tonight to end what has been a wet and cool election day. So is tomorrow's weather looking any better? Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey has an early look at your forecast and hopefully a good answer. You know what? It's looking a little better into the afternoon hours, but coming off of consecutive ugly days, anything that is remotely better is going to qualify as a big improvement. Current temperatures, upper 40s to around 50 into much of the area. Southern Kentucky, we hit 70 today. Rest of the area, barely into the low 50s. Defender radar network late this evening. Here we go again. Rain right on top of the area. Vanceburg, Flemingsburg, Carlisle, Paris, across most of Harrison County, into Scott County, and right on top of the downtown Lexington area. That continues toward the southwest, where you see the areas of yellow. A little bit of orange in there for good measure. Some locally heavy downpours. Western parts of Kentucky. Rains out here beginning to pick up the pace a little bit more. That'll be the bash that is right on top of central and eastern Kentucky to begin the day tomorrow. That future hour by hour radar. Notice how we get right into morning commute time and all of a sudden the rains begin to gear back up across central and eastern Kentucky. That's through 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. After that, we get a little small break in the rain. Hour by hour forecast, guys, will time that break in and out of central and eastern Kentucky. Yeah, that's right. More rain shows up. I'll show you when in a few. All right, Chris, we'll see you in just a bit. Thank you. Tonight, we are learning more about a fire that destroyed one home and damaged four others in a Lexington neighborhood. That fire started late this afternoon on Stansbury Cove near Hayes Boulevard. Smoke could be seen from miles away. Officer Don flew over the scene this afternoon, getting this video from Sky First. Lexington firefighters say the fire quickly spread because the homes were so close together. Monique Blair has the latest on the investigation. So, like a war zone. I mean, it was hot, smoke, you couldn't see in front of your face, hand in front of your face. Both those who live along Stansbury Cove and even the firefighters described the scene as chaotic Tuesday afternoon after this home caught fire. They had got in there just very, not very far at all, and they had the roof start to collapse on them. Firefighters quickly had to pull out of the home and contain the fire from the outside. But then the flames began to spread. Now, not only is this home where the fire started completely destroyed, but four other neighboring homes were also damaged by the fire. The problem is a lot of these houses in these new neighborhoods, this particular house here, as a matter of fact, on one side is less than 10 feet to his neighbor, and the other side is less than seven. Battalion Chief Jeff Nance says with homes still being built very close together, firefighters will likely continue to fight more fires similar to this one. We're going to see more and more of this as, as time goes. They're just built too close together. The vinyl siding does nothing to prevent heat from catching another home on fire. It's just going to be... Uh, it's the way our future looks right now. Nobody was hurt as a result of this fire, and investigators are still working to figure out how it started. Yeah, it was, it was pretty traumatic. Yeah. In Lexington, Monique Blair, WKYT. More than 50 firefighters responded to the scene. They say it took close to 45 minutes to get that fire under control. 
Investigators now say a fire that destroyed two Moorhead businesses last month was set on purpose. Moorhead police say surveillance video from the morning of April 12th shows a person enter the building. A short time later, the video shows flames coming from the building. Police say that video helped them determine it was arson. The fire destroyed H2O wireless and tobacco and electric beach tanning on West Main Street. People own the store and the electric beach here and stuff like that. Uh, I think it, it ruined them. It don't ruin the town, though. Last month, the owner of the building told us the fire caused about a million dollars in damage. So far, police have not made any arrest in the case. A warning for people who have bought gas at a Lexington gas station in recent days. In nine minutes, what police say they found on some of those pumps now has them investigating. And then UK police have issued an alert after a string of scooter thefts on campus in recent weeks. Mothers can donate breast milk online and they can get it for free. It's a growing trend, but is it safe? You would not walk up to an absolute stranger on the street and say, give me a unit of blood. Breast milk donations, Thursday at 6 on WKYT. Kentucky mornings start here. Breaking and overnight news, weather to plan your day, plus traffic you can take with you. Make WKYT this morning part of your Kentucky morning. Weekdays from 430 to 7 on WKYT. Are you tired of juggling your finances and can't afford those remodeling projects? Surplus Sales has a huge selection of carpet at unbeatable prices. Come on down to Surplus Sales for some great deals. Here's a fun way to control your luck. It's a game called Kino. You can start with one buck. You pick your numbers, your odds, and your wager. And the winnings, well, they could be major. Just pick your numbers and hope you win. A few minutes later, you can play it again. Now play Kino wherever Kentucky Lottery games are sold. We started with the class-leading RX. We gave it paddle shifters to help you command the road. A sport mode to help you control the road. And a sport-tuned suspension to help you connect with the road. The Lexus RX F-Sport. This is the RX Elevated. Lease the 2016 RX 350 for 419 a month for 36 months. See your Lexus dealer. This is a Morgan & Morgan public safety alert. One in eight cars on the road contain defective Takata airbags. While airbags are meant to protect you, these could deploy like bombs and cause scarring, blindness, and even death. Our firm has helped people like you recover money for damages caused by these airbags. If you or a loved one were injured by an exploding airbag, call Morgan & Morgan for the people.com. It's not too big and it's not too small. Chevrolet's crossovers come in three sizes Trax, Equinox, and Traverse. Who wants to sit in it? I do. Shotgun. Oh, wow. Oh, this car matches me. I like this. It's a perfect fit. Get more than you expect for less than you imagine from the Chevrolet crossover family. Current qualified GM lessees can get this Chevy Equinox LT for around $199 a month. See your Kentucky Select Chevy dealers. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Follow WKYT on Twitter. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Putting to bed a very soggy election day across central and eastern Kentucky. The rain, the month of May, the chilly weather, all of it just get us into summer. Come on, Mother Nature, you got to do a little better than this. Look outside right now. It is only 50 degrees in Lexington, into Richmond, into Danville. I guess it's a little better than the folks in Maysville at 49 degrees right now. Southern Kentucky, we hit 70. But overall, this is about an ugly of a period you're ever going to find around here in the month of May. And it's still ugly tonight. Defender Radar Network with rain blowing back into central and northeastern Kentucky, where you see the dark greens, the yellows, a little bit of orange in there. It's where it's really coming down. It's coming down at a pretty good clip on top of Lexington. Here's some rain on the rooftop. Now you get into the Rupp Arena area, up toward Masterson Station, uh, Bryan Station, Hamburg Pavilion, down toward Jacobson Park area. Locally heavy downpours. We've got a few more coming in for the good folks here into Mercer County. Heading into Jessima County, southern parts of Woodford County, and all the way back into the Springfield and Lebanon area. Folks around Taylor County with some showers that extend back into western parts of Kentucky. What will happen is that we will see this develop a little further overnight. 
and work in here first thing tomorrow morning. 24-hour planner. Bailey, can you give me something a little better than what you've been giving over the past few days with that forecast? Yes, 49 in the morning with some rain. Into the afternoon, hang in there. Deeper we get into the day, the better the chance we at least get a peak or two of sunshine. And for a change, it may not rain. So rain likely tomorrow morning. Let's figure out the next three days. Then we'll focus on that weekend forecast. Rain likely tomorrow morning gets better the deeper we get into the afternoon. Thursday is your day. Fabulous looking 70 to 75, plenty of sunshine into the afternoon. That's exactly what we need. And you get it all for one day. Friday, rain, thunderstorms will return. And before the day is over, heavy rainfall, a good possibility. Let's go hour by hour on you. First thing tomorrow morning, it's wet, it's ugly. And it may stay that way right on through early tomorrow afternoon. The deeper we get into the day, the better the chance of picking up on at least a little bit of sunshine. Notice southeastern Kentucky models deeper into the afternoon. Tomorrow, keep the rains around, and we may struggle for a time. Anyone, even in the afternoon and evening, is fair game for an isolated shower. Turns a little chilly on Thursday morning. There's your Thursday afternoon. Plenty of sunshine across the region. I say soak that up. Cue the next round of rains coming into town as we go through our Friday into our Friday evening, and that will likely carry us into the start of the upcoming weekend. That's a pretty moisture-laden system. 74 on Thursday is close to normal. I, we're a little below normal on that day and then way below normal again Friday into Saturday. Long range call into next week. Last week I said the week leading up to Memorial Day would likely turn very warm. I still think that's the case. It may come a little deeper into next week than I thought, but overall we will turn a lot warmer next week. We have not been out of this building since oh, about 2.30 yeah, today, yeah, but yeah. I hear that we really don't want to go back outside. I hear it's no, you, raining you, again. Rain? You can hear the rain yeah. again. Yeah, right. great. I'm sorry. We'll shake out of this eventually, I'll right? I'll do better tomorrow, okay? <laughs> okay, Thanks, Chris. you better. It caught the attention of many people in the Northeast early this morning. What lit up the night sky over multiple states in eight minutes? We're the LaCour family, and welcome to our show. Show. Now go enjoy yours. Pet moments are beautiful, unless you have allergies. Then your eyes may see it differently. Flonase is the first and only nasal spray approved to relieve both itchy, watery eyes and congestion. No other nasal allergy spray can say that. When we breathe in allergens, our bodies react by overproducing six key inflammatory substances that cause our symptoms. Most allergy pills only control one substance. Flonase controls six, and six is greater than one. More complete allergy relief. Clonase, six is greater than one, changes everything. When you participate in a MedPACE clinical study, you can expect five simple steps to get started, four relaxing spaces, three catered meals a day, two medical experts dedicated to your care, and one paycheck up to $5,550. We are looking for generally healthy adults 18 to 55 for a research study of an investigational drug requiring four overnight stays at our clinic. MedPace. Get paid to change the pace of medicine. This is how precision listens. Bose microphones that hear engine noise, then counter it with the sound canceling frequency, which helps make the cabin so quiet, you don't miss a thing. Night, Dad. Good night, kiddo. It's called active noise cancellation, and it's available in the new, meticulously crafted 2016 Sierra from GMC. This is the precision of professional grade. Now get nearly $9,000 below MSRP on select 2016 Sierra 1500 models in stock. Visit your Bluegrass GMC dealer today. I don't want to live with the uncertainties of Hep C. Or wonder whether I should seek treatment. I am ready. Because today there's Harvoni, a revolutionary treatment for the most common type of chronic hepatitis C. Harvoni is proven to cure up to 99% of patients who've had no prior treatment. It transformed treatment as the first cure that's one pill once a day for 12 weeks. Certain patients can be cured with just eight weeks of Harvoni. Harvoni is a simple treatment regimen that's been prescribed to more than a quarter of a million patients. Tell your doctor if you've had a liver transplant, other liver or kidney problems, HIV, or any other medical conditions, and about all the medicines you take, including herbal supplements. Taking amiodarone with Harvoni may cause a serious slowing of your heart rate. Common side effects of Harvoni may include tiredness, headache, and weakness. 
I am ready to put Hep C behind me. I am ready to be cured. Are you ready? Ask your Hep C specialist if Harvoni is right for you. We're the Swartzes from Omaha. Welcome to our show. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. New tonight, Lexington police say someone put two credit card skimmers on pumps at a gas station. Police say a maintenance technician found the skimmers at a marathon on West Main Street. Lexington police are now investigating, but so far they do not know who put the skimmers there. Police say they told banks and credit unions around the city to expect calls from customers reporting fraudulent activity. Also new tonight, University of Kentucky police have issued a crime bulletin after a series of motor scooter thefts on campus. Police say in the last month, nine scooters have been stolen, including in front of Memorial Coliseum and the W.T. Young Library. They say suspect descriptions have been different for each theft. So far, police have not made any arrests. Today, a community remembered a Kentucky State Police trooper who was killed in the line of duty nearly 30 years ago. Police say Trooper Johnny Edrington was killed during a traffic stop in December of 1988 on Highway 80 in Laurel County. Police have never made any arrests in this case, and it's still considered a cold case. Well, today, a wreath was placed at the trooper's gravesite in Campbellsville, and his family joined police for a memorial service. It, it's just very good to know that whether I'm here or whether I'm gone, that, that they will always continue to remember my brother and all fallen officers. Trooper Edrington had only worked for the London KSP post for three years when he was killed. New tonight, the Floyd County Sheriff's Office says Facebook helped them find some good leads in a theft case. In a Facebook post, deputies ask if anyone recognized a man caught on camera stealing from a home in the Banner community. They say he sold two dryers, a weed eater, and a shop vac, among other items. Deputies say hours after posting pictures of the crime last night, they found the vehicle used to haul away the items. It's a good anonymous way for people to relay messages to us. Uh, it also gets that information out to the public. Deputies talked to some witnesses today. They are not releasing the man's name yet, but they say they're still trying to track him down. New tonight, the Kentucky Attorney General says Governor Bevin should not have been allowed to remove a trustee from the Kentucky Retirement Systems Board before the trustee's term had expired. Governor Bevin removed Board Chairman Thomas Elliott last month, even though his term does not expire for three years. In an opinion released today, Attorney General Andy Bashir also said Elliott's replacement isn't as qualified. The governor's office disagrees with that and said the attorney general's opinion is different from a state Supreme Court precedent. Quite a sight in the skies over the Northeast thanks to a meteor. A police dash cam in Maine and an airport camera in Vermont, among other cameras, caught the meteor lighting up the sky early this morning. The American Meteor Society reported sightings as far south as Pennsylvania and up into Canada. The bright light was caused by the meteor burning up as it entered into the atmosphere. That is quite a sight and sort of frightening, I guess, yeah, if you I saw it in those hours. thought the same thing. <laughs> okay. Tonight, a sweet moment for the state champs, Rob. Well, that's right. The Dunbar Bulldogs getting something tonight that will last a lifetime. And the number one pick in the NBA draft on the line. Some ex Wildcats hoping to bring some luck to their teams. Stay with us. Sports is next. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 100.1 WKQQ. You may be entitled to $1,500 for each call you've received from any company collecting a debt. Seems too good to be true, but it's the law. There's no one road out there, no one surface, no one way of driving on each and every road. But there is one car that can conquer them all, the Mercedes-Benz C-Class. Five driving modes let you customize the steering, shift points, and suspension to fit the mood you're in and the road you're on. The 2016 C-Class 4 Matic starting at 40950 Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. Come celebrate National Barbecue Month with all-you-can-eat St. Louis ribs at Sonny's Barbecue. An endless helping of sweet and smoky or dry rub ribs for just $14.99 for a limited time. Sonny's Barbecue, local pit masters since 68. It's not just a good idea, it's the law. Columbia Gas of Kentucky. Wednesday's Powerball jackpot is $60 million.
Stanley Steamer is the first carpet cleaning service certified asthma and allergy friendly. It's our new standard of clean. Now get three rooms of carpet clean to just $99. Call 1 800 Steamer. Stanley Steamer, your certified cleaner. How do you craft the world's finest bed? It starts with luxurious materials, with attention to every detail. For quality you can feel, the same quality you've come to expect at Sleep Outfitters, where now you can save up to $600 on select Stearns & Foster mattresses. Plus, get 0% APR financing for 60 months. When you lie down on a Stearns & Foster bed, you'll appreciate everything we've put in, making it that much harder to get out. Stearns & Foster, available at Sleep Outfitters. Thanks for coming today. I want each of you to grab a two by eight and cut it. You'll have two saws to choose from. You all chose the best tool for the job. Wouldn't it make sense to make the same choice when it comes to your truck? Absolutely. Yep. This is the 2016 Chevy Silverado. Nice. A good looking pickup. Incredible. I love it. Find your tag and get a total value of $9,000 on this Silverado Double Cab All-Star. See your Kentucky Select Chevy dealers. You're invited to a grand opening barbecue. Bluegrass RV is excited to introduce new owners and new management. Saturday, May 21st from 10 a.m. till noon, it's free barbecue, rain or shine. Come meet the stars of UK96's championship team. Anthony Apps, Cameron Mills, Jared Prickett, Jeff Shepard, and more special guests. Come celebrate the grand opening of Bluegrass RV on North Broadway in Lexington, Saturday, May 21st, starting at 10 a.m. CareSource ensures thousands of members in Kentucky, but we're not built on numbers. We're built on compassion and care. Our commitment? People over profit. CareSource. Caring for the Commonwealth. The NBA Draft Lottery tonight in New York City, and among the 13 teams, Kentucky was well represented. Willie Cauley-Stein on hand, representing the Sacramento Kings. Devin Booker was there for the Phoenix Suns. He was joined by Suns superfan Jenna Warren. And Carl Anthony Towns, representing Minnesota, he wore the wedding band of his late coach Flip Saunders around his neck. Number one came down to the 76ers and the Lakers. The second pick will be made by the Los Angeles Lakers. And that means that the number one pick in the 2016 NBA Draft goes to the Philadelphia 76ers. So the Sixers get number one, followed by the Lakers and the Boston Celtics. The Suns get two lottery picks. They will select fourth and 13th. The T-Wolves are fifth. And then it's the Pelicans and the Nuggets and the Kings will get number eight in the June draft. Two months after winning the school's first state basketball championship, the Dunbar Bulldogs receiving their championship ranks tonight. The end of the year banquet wrapping up a memorable season for Dunbar, winning a school record 33 games and beating Doss in the title game. But it all became very real tonight with the rings. I'm starting to realize what we actually did. I mean, all the parades we got, it was just amazing. But now since we finally got the rings, it just it makes it that much sweeter and I actually recognize like we actually were the 2016 state champs. That ring kind of means, you know, that just it's a symbol that just stays with you forever that you really accomplished it, you know. No, no talk, just the ring. Gunrunner, the third place finisher in the Kentucky Derby, will not run in the Preakness this weekend. Trainer Steve Asmussen says Gunrunner is in great shape, but he is electing to skip the race. Derby winner Nyquist and runner up Exaggerator, both on the Pimlico track this morning. Four times Exaggerator has gone up against Nyquist, four times he has lost. Doug O'Neill, trainer of Nyquist, thought both looked good this morning. I agree. I mean, it's like uh, we. Snuck around. We were trying to figure out. You guys were actually beneficial. What time Exaggerator was going out? So we went out and and hid in some bush and, and watched him from afar. <laughs> but uh, he looked he looked great, and he always does. And um, his coat looks great. His weather his uh, weight looks great, and good energy. And uh, he did actually he went straight off, but he galloped very similar to the way Nyquist uh, uh, did. And uh, I would imagine Keith would be happy with it. And, 
Rachel Lawson's UK softball team is the number nine seed in the NCAA tournament, the highest seeding in school history. The Cats face Butler Friday at John Crop Stadium. The Cats set another school record this season with 43 wins. There's 17 SEC wins, also the most in school history. Lawson said the Cats are getting back to form offensively despite the loss in the SEC tournament to LSU. I feel great about our pitching right now. I feel great about our defense. Offensively, the last um, couple of weeks, we've really worked hard on doing um, battling in the box. So I think we're, we look really good right now. But it's in, like you said, it's in practice. It's not game ready. But I feel like we're back to where we were in the um, February and early March when we were doing a great job offensively. We seem to have a great focus. We seem to be um, attacking pitches that are in the zone as opposed to taking them. Kentucky baseball on the road tonight against Murray State in Paducah. UK gets win number 30, beating the Racers 4 to 1 in a game shortened by rain. The Cats face Missouri in the final series of the season starting Thursday. And last night, the Indians scored 15 runs on the Reds. They were right back at it tonight, second inning scoring four times. Jason Kipnis with a base hit brings home two, 4 0 Cleveland. And then in the third, Raji Davis. Tags Alfredo Simon. That is gone to left. Well, not quite. Double off the top of the wall. Two more come in. Six to nothing. Carlos Santana then singled home Davis. And the Indians would have many, many more than they would need. The final tonight, 13 to 1 up at Progressive Field. Speaking of blowouts, game one of the NBA's Eastern Conference Final, Cleveland 115, Toronto 84. We'll be right back. Welcome to Toyota Time. Tons of awesome vehicles. Great deals for everyone. Thanks. Low APR financing. Woo. Here's your balloon. Oh. <sighs> Coffee. Soldier. Water. No, no. Mm. I have the best team. Oh, here I come. Now get the all-new 2016 midsize Prius, named a must-test drive vehicle by Auto Trader with zero for 60 financing, or lease Prius for $239 a month. Here you go. And here I go. Toyota, let's go places. If you have questions about your on-the-job injury, visit ForThePeople.com for more information. Morgan & Morgan, For The People. Thanks for testing our new car service today. Of course. Our service is a little bit different. Okay. Since we traveled 5.1 miles and this car offers an EPA estimated 37 miles per gallon highway, your total is 31 cents. What? The all-new 2016 Chevy Malibu LT. Current qualified GM lessees can get this all-new 2016 Chevy Malibu LT for around $199 a month, or find your tag and get $2,000 on this Chevy Malibu LT. See your Kentucky Select Chevy dealers. Pet moments are beautiful, unless you have allergies. Then your eyes may see it differently. Flonase is the first and only nasal spray approved to relieve both itchy, watery eyes and congestion. No other nasal allergy spray can say that. When we breathe in allergens, our bodies react by overproducing six key inflammatory substances that cause our symptoms. Most allergy pills only control one substance. Flonase controls six, and six is greater than one. More complete allergy relief. Flonase, six is greater than one, changes everything. Kentucky Lottery Sales have funded grants and scholarships for over half a million Kentucky college students. So every time you play, the Commonwealth wins. Fueling imagination. Funding education. As America's longest lasting pickups, Ram's continued leadership is eye-opening. Like Ram 3500 with the best towing and the best torque. And Ram 1500 with the best fuel economy. It's no wonder more people are driving Ram trucks than ever before. Join us now during the Ram Memorial Day sales event. Returning FCA lessees finance and get 10,500 in total values on the purchase of a 2016 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab. If you're in a car accident and searching for a lawyer, you need to ask that lawyer three questions. One, have you practiced law in Kentucky your entire legal career? Two, have you recently tried a case in a Kentucky courtroom? And three, have over a dozen of the nation's largest insurance companies retain you to try their cases. At Golden Law Office, we can answer yes to all these questions. Put our inside knowledge to work for you. Call us today for a free consultation. 
Get WKYT news and weather updates on News Radio 630 WLAP. The Late Show with Stephen Colbert is less than a minute away here on WKYT. And tonight's guests include Anthony Anderson and Coldplay. Speaking of Coldplay, it was cold today. It's yeah, rainy tonight. It's rainy tonight. Defender Radar Network tracking the rains across the region yet again. And you see that stuff out in western Kentucky, Bowling Green, Owensboro. That's what is with us to start out the day tomorrow. By the end of the day, it does get a little better, but of course, anything will qualify as better. <laughs> Has right. to be, right? Yeah, exactly. Thanks for joining, uh, joining us for our election coverage tonight. We will see you back here tomorrow. Have a good one.